Let's jump back into that breaking news coverage of the key bridge collapse out in Baltimore. We wanted to talk about the potential environmental impacts, specifically when it comes to air pollution. Now remember, this happened in an area that already struggles with really harmful black carbon emissions. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath spoke with Russ Dickerson from the Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences at the University of Maryland. He said there's still a lot more questions than answers, but there will be a long lasting environmental impact. You have a 100,000 ton ship, it can carry a lot of goods with relatively little air pollution compared to trains or even more so to trucks. So now that the bridge is down, we'll have to move that freight somehow. It'll have to go by rail or by diesel truck. And Baltimore already has a problem with diesel truck emissions with a lot of black carbon and oxides of nitrogen from diesel trucks. The cars have to go somewhere, so there's going to be more traffic, more traffic congestion and more air pollution. Another factor to consider is how hazardous materials like tanker trucks will be with fuel will be transported. Hazardous materials are forbidden from going through the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. We have reached out to the Maryland Transportation Authority team and they say commercial vehicles carrying materials prohibited in the tunnel crossings should plan on using I-695 just between Essex and Glen Burnie.